Hi everyone, so today's um, video is going to be on how to repress a powder. Um, I got a request in the comments section in one of my videos and I wanted to go ahead and film that for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, what you're going to need for this is um, some alcohol. I have a 91% uh, rubbing alcohol here. Um, what I did is I'm recycling that and I put it in I put this alcohol in this um, L'Oreal uh, setting spray um, so it's just easy to use um, you know uh, to repress a powder um, as a po as opposed to um, just pouring this in here so it's a lot easier to have a sprayer um, the other thing I that's really helpful to have is a spatula, which uh, I got the I got these on Amazon. Now you don't have to have these. You can use a spoon, um, a knife, anything that you have in handy. Um, I would just say just make sure you sanitize um, the the product, the knife, or whatever you're going to use um, before using it on your powder. Um, but I can, if I find these, I can link this, these down below. Um, but I got these on Amazon. <clears throat> and then, um, I also have these, um, cotton swabs, um, from the Dollar Tree. Um, I, I like these a little bit more because the other ones, the other regular Q-tips have a lot more cotton on them. Um, these, the cotton on this one isn't as... Um, there's not a lot of cotton on this and um, it's it's just easier to use um, and it doesn't leave a lot of fuzzies on your product um, but there, if you don't want to use this as another way to do it but um, but I thought if you wanted to use this you can use this as well just to kind of clean up the area after you're done so anyway um, and the last thing you're gonna definitely need um, is your powder so I'm going to be using my Becca this is the Becca, I always forget the name, uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. And this is what it looks like. So I want to um, just remove all this and put this in the center. So, okay, so I am going to go ahead and I hope you guys can see this, but I am going to use this spatula right here. And I'm just gonna clean this spot. Let me move this so you guys can see. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna clean this little tool right here, making sure it's clean. I'm gonna use this side too, just in case I need to use this side as well. So I'm gonna clean, okay, I'm just cleaning these two ends right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start um kind of moving this and breaking this down like this okay just trying to make sure that i'm recording this is hard to see what i'm doing because of where i have my um camera what a product So now I'm going to use this end to just kind of break it down. Just get them into smaller pieces. Sometimes what? Sometimes I think that a spoon works a little bit better because um, it's a lot wider. <clears throat> so let me go and get that and try that. Okay, so I have a plastic spoon here. So let me go ahead and sanitize that just all right see how it kind of flattens it out I think sometimes a spoon works a lot better for me and then you can actually scoop uh, the product in the middle just a little bit easier with the spoon I find it's easier Okay, so this is what you have now. I mean, I've tried to break it up as much as I could. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz some alcohol with this. 
um, just like that. And just take the spoon and just start kind of working the alcohol in there little by little. I'm losing some product here, but sometimes that happens when you're, um, that's going to happen when you repress things. Okay. It's still too, um, powdery still. So I'm going to keep adding, um, alcohol until it gets muddy. All right, there we go. See how I'm making this kind of paste? I'll just make a paste out of it. Just kind of mix everything together. It's really easy. Probably add a little bit too much alcohol because it is a little bit runny, but it's okay. Okay, um, so that, so then I'm just going to start scraping this towards the middle. It's going to be really hard to grab all the product. Um, I mean, you are going to lose some of it, but as best as possible, just try to get everything in the middle here. Okay, so I tried to scrape the product as much as I could, um, and I did lose some a little bit there. But that's okay. I mean, that's just part of it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some paper towels. I forgot to mention, you do need paper towels to um, press your product. I know that you tried to get everything in there. It's... So I'm going to press it down. Can you guys see that? And this is just to absorb the product. I don't want to press too hard because I don't want it to be tightly packed. Um, I do want to absorb the alcohol, but I also don't want to press it down so much because then when you do that, then it's really hard to get the, um, the product. Um, see, yeah. Um, yeah. So then it's hard to get the, the product. It's, it's, it's very hard to get it on your brush. Um, I know that some people add jojoba oil to their products and things like that, but I, I've tried that and that hasn't really worked for me. So I've kind of, I don't know if I've been doing it wrong. Maybe I, I'm doing it wrong, but it's kind of ruined by products. I know Kristen has, Kristen K has mentioned that, um, but it just, it, it didn't really quite work for me. So um, yeah, but you can definitely do that. Um, but this is what I have here. Right. So that's as good as it's going to be. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, I'm going to clean these edges here all along the side. Um, so I'm going to take this, um, cotton swab right here and just add a little bit of alcohol to, and just kind of clean around the edges. So you can see, I'm just going to clean all this. around okay so now what I'm going to do is I want to clean this off a little bit more um, so I'm going to take the end of this spoon right here and just kind of wrap it around if you don't want to use this and you could use this to kind of clean off the edges here, um, but I'm going to try and use this. I'm going to dip it into the alcohol actually. So I'm going to just dip this in here. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> can you see what I'm doing? Just kind of wet it down. Okay. And I'm just going to clean the edges with this. And you are going to lose product, but. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm doing here? Sorry. Okay. Let's just try and 
get this in the middle so we don't <laughs> lose it. So I'm just going to add just a tiny bit more of alcohol here so I can repress it down just a tiny bit more. Okay. Okay. So now I'm just kind of cleaning off the edges. I just added a little bit more alcohol this and I put it on this towel and now I'm just cleaning this around. Okay, so this is what I have. This is what it looks like at the end. You can, you know, clean it, clean it up some more. But uh, yeah, this is what I basically have now. Um, I'm going to let this dry. So I'm going to leave it on my counter. And I'm going to let this dry. I don't know. I like to leave it for 24 hours. Um, and just leave it like this. You can leave it a couple of hours, but I like to give it more time just to make sure it's, it's good. And yeah, I mean, that's about it. Okay. So this is what the product looks like now. Um, it has dried for 24 hours. Um, obviously you don't have to wait that long, but I, I usually do. So, um, but yeah, it's ready to go. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this um, and I hope this was helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye.